I'm sorry? It's the end of the day. Are you that out of it? You don't even know what today is? <laughs> today is Wednesday, January 26th, 2011. Okay. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Welcome <coughs> to Mind Control. Are you okay? I'm fine. The only show that openly admits that they're teaching you exactly what to think. Everybody else does it subconsciously, subliminally. We'll just come right in and tell you. We'd like to control your minds. Today's what? January 26th? 2011. 2011. Wednesday. How did we get to 2011? Let's talk about that for a long time. Like, <laughs> first it was like 1999. So, let's jump right into it. Uh, first of all, uh, we're the stars, so we'd like to uh, let you know what's going on in our lives this week. Um, we... Uh, Big Chili Dog Productions started up Twitter, BCD Productions, I guess, at BCD Productions. I have no idea what, yeah. what Twitter is or what it's about, but, but I just started right. doing it. Um, I've already got thing? something like six million, six million. people. Yeah, I've wow. already passed Ashton up. Um, he gave me a shout out. Um, Why are we talking about Ashton Kutcher? Oh, uh, because he had a number one movie. Oh, right, he did. That's he right. did. Absolutely. Did you go see Fuck Buddies? I didn't go see it. I'm not gonna go see it. But this is the sequel to uh, When Harry Met Sally. Really? So uh, did, did we need a sequel to When Harry Met Sally? So clearly, I thought that was You Got Mail, or that was Sleepless in Seattle. So what's going on with Clean Dallas this week? Is Clean Dallas up to anything? Um, I, I I've updated, of course, the wrestling blog and the comics blog, um, but nothing on the actual Dallas blog. I'd have to like read newspapers and really know what's going on here to <laughs> what's so funny so, so, no basically I haven't updated this week because I would have to read I'd have to actually write some stuff yeah that that's like, takes a lot of time you know basically if that's it for our updates we're going to jump into world news I thought we were going to start locally local news all right, all right, local. local news I uh, thought we'd start off with uh, just talking about the state of the Mavericks they beat the Clippers last night I put the game on, uh, I find all my games, I don't have cable, I find all my games on chat.net. Um, Isn't that illegal? <laughs> oh, I was going to give him a shout out, but uh, let's... No, no, you don't go to the website, you, 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 you watch it. On right, YouTube. right, so last yeah. night uh, I put on uh, Fox. Yes, what's yes, Fox Sports. Fox Southwest? Sports, yes. I put on Fox Sports Southwest and... Uh, the connection that I had didn't have audio, that sucks. and it was horrible quality. Um, must have been a bad day at Fox Sports. I'm sure. And um, did you hear the Radigan's doing the play-by-play -play now for the Rangers? He's going to. He, yeah. he filled the role. Yeah. Radigan. You know he's on the ticket every once in a while. Yeah. I know, and he yeah. likes to play. He likes to play ticket stick, but Radigan's you know, okay. I like Radigan. I like him. I like him. I like him. I... He's okay. Yeah. I mean, he gets it, and he does everything right. Peja. Yeah, okay, so this week they brought in Peja. Um, I think it's funny that he was there for practice, but he didn't practice. He watched the practice. Why didn't he actually practice with the team? That sounds kind of fishy. You know, he has those injury problems. Yeah, Peja's, Peja's going to be another <laughs> failed experiment. No problem with that, but I, I, I guess... What's, what's the last experiment that wasn't failed for the Mavericks? I think Karan, you know, was a great addition, and no. it really meshed well this year. I think Karan... Karan failed... failed. Because, because he got injured. I think if he was healthy, he would No, yeah. even when he was healthy, he goes up there, he'll score four yeah. points on you, then he'll score 19, then he'll score seven. Who cares? I don't know. Butler. I liked Karan. I thought Karan may have been... He has a good look. He has a good yeah, image. He has a good yeah. uh, everything. But he slashes. He, he didn't deliver. He didn't deliver. Yeah. What about uh, our boy, our boy Troy? I saw that he's getting a divorce. Didn't really read much into it, other than that he's getting a divorce. Um... Does he have any kids with that girl? With his yes, wife? they have children that they're clearly strongly devoted to. Oh, Eddie, that's always good to hear. I'm sure he'll stay hard. Um, I'm sure he won't have any problem going out with Joe Buck and finding women. Yeah. Uh, Troy. They, you know, the rumor about Troy, though, is he's not really into women. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, okay, well, then that takes it to a whole other discussion. Um, in that case, I, I'm, I'm completely shocked that Troy's getting divorced. I... Didn't see this coming. Right, and, right. Uh, uh, I'll uh, leave it alone. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's just a rumor, you know. You've, you, you've heard it, you know, living in Dallas your whole life. People will say that kind of stuff about Troy. 
he is that kind of pretty boy, you know, kind of a thing. But you know, it, you know, it. You never want to question some some someone's sexuality, you know. But whatever. are you gay? I'm I'm openly gay, actually. <laughs> Probably the biggest local story here over the next two weeks, uh, Super Bowl. Super Bowl's in Dallas. Thank you, Super Bowl! Super Bowl, Paul McCartney. Oh, I guess he's not doing yeah, it this year. The Black Eyed Peas, actually. The Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas. The Black Eyed Peas on, uh, on Fergie or Fergie Peas herself or whatever their name is. Um, that's a true, that, that's a fact, actually. Did she actually pee herself? Yeah, she did. She did. She did. Yeah. She did. Um, basically... Are you a fan of the Black Eyed Peas? No, no, no. I hate yeah. the Black Eyed Peas. I have no interest in that. I don't care about. I don't care about sterilized half times. Um, it's not a sterilized half time. I don't think. Like, what more edgy, poppy band could they have gotten to play half time besides the Black Eyed Peas? Please don't. Please don't ever say the Black Eyed Peas are edgy. My other question uh, to you, because everybody's asking Eddie's opinion on this Jay Cutler controversy. Did Jay Cutler puss out, or did Jay Cutler? You yeah, know, her. Cutler's always not, you know, always been kind of uh, always weak a, in the pocket. He's like, a lightning rod. Yeah, yeah. I w I'm surprised the Bears made it as far as they did with him as the quarterback, you know? He's certainly been more wheeled off than Romo. But still, I think a better quarterback than Romo, though. Did you see Jimmy Johnson after the game calling uh, him out? No. <laughs> Said that, he, you know, in order for the Bears to go to the next level, Cutler has to be a leader and stop pouting, you know? And uh, Yeah, I know. saw... I just saw some tweets where Maurice Jones Drew was calling him out. And a lot of people were calling out Cutler. Some other people. Yeah. That's pretty funny. But he did, I think he tore, not tore his MCL, but he sprained his MCL or something like that. It was a pretty serious injury, but, you know, it's a, it's a championship game. If you, you know, I, I think you'd want to be out there given, you know, even if you are injured, you'd still kind of, you know, get get, get the cortisone shot and go back in there. You, Do you okay? smell that? Mm-mm. Do you smell that? Mm-mm. Okay. I think we've... I think we've snuck into world news. Uh, that that smell was world yeah. news. Okay, yeah, that, okay. Was, yeah. that was. Um, it was good. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I think the most pressing story in the world right now is that Oprah has found her half sister. Did you watch the episode where they had the no, half sister? No, 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 no. I've never watched. Okay. I've, I've seen maybe one episode of Oprah. You ever, didn't see the half sister? But I'm fascinated by her. I hate her. Yeah. All at the same time. It's hard to, to you know. Everyone's kind of fascinated by the O. Yeah, but she. Yeah, she's clearly psychotic. But he thinks it's psychotic. <laughs> she, she realized she had a half-sister, and the first thing she did was put her on TV. Of course. That, you asked me if I think she's psychotic. That's a good marketer. Um, that's a good celebrity. To me, the second biggest story in the world, probably, ever, maybe, going on right now that just came out this week, Jersey Shore headed to oh. Italy for season... Four? Four. Yeah. They're in three right now, back in Jersey. Uh, Are you watching this season? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this week was... Uh, this week, I think everybody was getting along. Ronnie's twin brother episode. <laughs> this guy that Dino was hooking up with looked exactly like Ronnie, and they even they even took him into the bedroom uh, to show him to Sammy and woke woke them up just to show him. Uh, I saw though on the commercial for this week's episode or the next episode, um, who is it? Ronnie, the 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 guy with the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he tries to get with that her arch nemesis. Well, yeah, so all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden, they're, like, really good friends. Okay, You know. Okay. He didn't try to sudden, get with her, like, hook up with her? Come yeah, on, yeah. yeah, yeah so, yeah, yeah. all of a sudden, you know, they're they're all of a sudden really good friends now. And so, yeah, she goes, she goes, are you, are you friends with her? Wow! Oh, and just, she, like... She did hit him. She did hit yeah, him. Yeah, oh, she punches him yeah. straight in the face. I saw that clip earlier this season, and uh, I know they're teasing it now this week, but uh, I can't wait. I Apparently can't. he was really distraught after it too. He's you know had his hands in his head, or his, head his hands, he was crying. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jersey Shore, man. I love Jersey Shore. Um, it, it, it it's funny too that that, that the Snooky and the situation are kind of like the afterthoughts. It seems like this season they're not really like in the uh, in the mix of the main story. It seems to no, be... no Snooky last week was oh, uh, was belligerently drunk. Okay. okay. Uh, while she was actually on the job, I think she was <laughs> on the job and she was sneaking alcohol. Nice. And then she snuck off down the boardwalk and got some liquor. What, what job does Snooky have? They they sell t-shirts. Okay. okay. They like take shifts working in a t-shirt store. Is it a job provided by MTV? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. This guy, this guy's clearly like Mr. Personality on on camera. So, um, and uh, you see like all the t-shirts in the background. And they're all like advertisements, like you know Jersey Shore, Jersey, Jersey, Jersey Shore. Yeah. Shore. Don't fall yeah. in love at the Jersey Shore. Uh, all that kind of stuff. But uh, no, that's good. 
I don't know. Have you ever fallen cool. in love with the Jersey Shore? Huh? Have you ever fallen in love in the Jersey Shore? I have. Yeah. I have. Yeah. You've I've, never been to the Jersey Shore, Jeremiah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Apparently, you watched the State of the Union. I watched. I, I watched pretty much the whole thing yesterday. I thought uh, you know Obama was very uh -huh. uh, inclusive. He wanted to bring mm -hmm. together both sides. Is he you still know? black? Um, he is still black. <laughs> okay. Did you see that story on Yahoo though about him dyeing his hair? No. Yeah. So Yahoo broke the story that uh, they had side by side comparison pictures of his hair, and one was gray, and one was obviously a lot darker black. Uh -huh. So that's funny. He's lying to the American people about his hair color. Who knows what he's lying about? That's else, true. You know? That's true. I think we're going to be socialist by tomorrow. So uh, we already are socialist, so, Jeremiah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know the uh, the uh, Medicare is a very socialistic, you know, uh, uh, program. So is you know nine one one emergency calling the state to come and help you whenever you know it's very socialistic. You know we have to watch out with what we're doing to this country. You know we're losing it. We need to take it back, Jeremiah. Well, I need to take it back. You're 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 obviously uh, half Hispanic, so I don't think you need to take it back. You you never deserved this country to begin with, so I'll take it back for myself. Okay, uh, the bombings in Russia. Uh, you know, like uh, obviously, there is rumors. You know, rumors of, and rumors of, of war. <laughs> there are, uh, as the Bible prophesies. <laughs> um, I don't know why that's so funny, Jeremiah. Yeah. It's the word of our our Savior Jesus Christ and the our Lord. Lord of the arch archangel. Jesus um, no, but um, so so apparently Russia, from what I heard, backs a lot of the Taliban, the Hamas. You know, they they're 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 very okay with seeing America destroyed. So the fact that the that the terrorists attacked uh, Russia, you know, was 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 confusing, but. Um, Obviously, they don't have any sides. If, if we supported the Afghanistans and their war with Russia, so you know, like, uh, it just it, it, a grab for power. Obviously, how, I covered that. How horrific was it? Was the scene? It wasn't that bad, to be honest with you. I don't know what everybody was really was, was really carrying on about. Didn't like thirty people die, and like it was like really sad. So there's all sorts of protests in Tunisia that have supposedly sparked similar protests in Egypt. Really? Yeah. Did you hear um, the cause of the Tunisian the Tunisian uh, protests? That they wanted. Uh... No, apparently WikiLeaks spurred the uh, the protests. How, is that so? Yeah. How yeah. was that? I uh, apparently in these diplomatic cables they discussed how the Tunisian government was run like a mafia. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, and uh, and so the people became aware of it through these WikiLeaks, and they uh, they started taking you know taking more okay. control. Okay. I mean, really, that's it. It's our first episode. From now on, we're going to cover everything that goes on every single week. We'll be back next week to uh, talk about the Jersey Shore episode where Sammy punches Ronnie. Um, what else is going down next week? Uh, we'll be really more revved up for the Super Bowl. Will we? Maybe, yeah, maybe okay. we can go out and do a, a video Super Bowl related, talking to some people or something. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, we might incorporate uh, Austin Hippie, uh, Big Mick from G-Squad. We're going to start doing some pre-produced stuff. Uh, check it out. The show's going to evolve. Um, like you and me did. From amoebas in the ocean to, to sitting right here on camera. Jer? Did I, did I, did I offend you? Jer? Um, Alright. Well, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, like Jer said, be, come back next week for our next episode. We'll be discussing more Super Bowl, more Jersey Shore. Um, probably more uh, of everything. So make sure you check it out. Uh, is that it? Wait, I have one more.